Welcome everyone to D Rod's MMA Unboxing. You know, I was reading the comment sections this week about Gilbert Burns and Twitter and Instagram, and a lot of people are like, Gilbert Burns is boring. Gilbert Burns is a dry humper. I was like, what? Not my dude. I said, let me check this out. Let me go in here and analyze and break this down and see if I can help people understand a little bit about what hap what happened in there. And um, y'all be the judge. Y'all get put in the comment section and tell me what y'all think. Listen. If you've never fought a karate guy who's rangy, you would never know how difficult it is. I mean, it is a very difficult fight. And I feel like a lot of people forgot how good Gilbert was, what is, and um, all his finishes he's, he's been able to uh, um, accomplish in his career. He's known for jiu-jitsu. But over the past few fights, he's actually been putting a lot of work in on these hands, and he's become a really good knockout artist. He's been knocking guys out. And he's been doing everything he can to finish every fight. It's not in his uh, persona to, to win by points. Not in jiu-jitsu tournaments nor MMA. In fact, he has eight wins by submission and six by knockout. So he's a finisher, basically. 70% of his wins come by finishing, either by submission or knockout. So he's not one of them guys that leave this fight in the hands of the judges. Now, what has to be taken into consideration is the, the, the reach advantage. Wonderboy Thompson had both the, the, um, the reach and he had the reach advantage, basically. And um, a lot of people don't understand how difficult that is to get in there and fight a guy who is taller than you, who's rangy, who's got good footwork, good movement, understand angles, who's able to catch you and counter you as you come again. And switch stands and move on you. It's things that are not common in MMA is very, you know, this this punch right here is something that's common in in um, in karate style of fighting. Um, the the jabbing side kick that catch you coming in. I mean, it's not common in MMA. It's not common in Muay Thai. So, you know, Gilbert's very lucky that he didn't even get his ribs broken. I've seen guys get their ribs broken of trying to uh, rush a karate guy. And so it was a very difficult fight for uh, Gilbert. No matter how much time he spent in training camp with Raymond Daniels, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is a black belt in karate in the stand-up game. I mean, look at that feint. Look how he's able to move Gilbert with that left hand and keep, keep Gilbert guessing because Gilbert can't take his timing. And uh, look, Gilbert's going to throw this jab step, jab step. He's setting it up, and boom, he gets in close. And that's how Gilbert was able to make the adjustment Um um, with the footwork he was able to move and uh, fake up top and that's how he was able to get in there and get that takedown because Wonderboy Thompson was uh, thrown off by the the head feints and um, the, uh, the 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 jab steps that he was throwing now this is very vitally important so grappling is a game of inches here you're going to see it's hard to see but Gilbert has control of Wonderboy Thompson's um, hand and the reason why is because he's trying to prevent this He's trying to prevent himself from getting knocked out now. He jumps down. He tries to time it Wonderboy Thompson goes down with him. He has the wizard Gilbert immediately comes back up and he gets control of that hand again And he this is a game of inches. He's gonna look for his takedowns and he's gonna set him up with these knees He's softening him up. You're thinking all oh, these knees don't hurt and you can see Wonderboy reacting to it because he doesn't want his legs to get tired. He needs his legs to stay at bay. As soon as his legs come in, Gilbert steps over, pulls his hips off the cage, runs the pipe, gets the takedown. It was all set up because of those knees. Again, this is a game of inches. You can see Wonderboy's legs is spread out. Gilbert's hips are on the left side. He can't, take, he can't do the takedown. Wonderboy is very long. So Gilbert is going to set him up with his knees and then pull the hips off the cage and run the pipe. Again, here you go. Um, he's not selling. He's trying to go in for the mount. He can't because Wonderboy's got his legs um, as a wedge in between him and um, Gilbert's body. Gilbert has to be very careful because if, he, if he's trying to be too anxious in movement, he can get turned because Wonderboy is a taller fighter, which is going to cause um, Gilbert to spread out more and compromise his base. Gilbert did go for a punch. And that punch, that movement allowed Wonderboy to retain guard. He's going to use his leg to now get himself back to the cage. 
and that's going to make it difficult for I won't say difficult but it's pretty much going to limit Burns to one side and um, it's easier to defend off that one side Gilbert is throwing these punches because he's not trying to settle and he's trying to really go for the knockout it sets up for uh, Wonderboy to get back to his feet again he's throwing hard punches you know Wonderboy could not get to his feet if Gilbert wasn't trying to go for the knockout Wonderboy look at this left hand up that means he was very skilled and even though Gilbert was trying to go for the knockout he couldn't because Wonderboy was very skilled he never stopped attacking in fact the takedown was his second option it wasn't even his first option you can see here he actually going for this hook this hook sets up for the second takedown look at the time 34 seconds in that means he actually spent the whole round trying to stand Wonderboy trying to knock him out the takedown was set up because he threw that hook earlier Wonderboy stands up and he's trying to evade because he thinks he's about to get hit again but Gilbert is going to switch it on him and go for the takedown it was a beautiful setup uh, Gilbert had been going high the entire round and that sets up this beautiful takedown where Gilbert um, takes him down again Gilbert every time he punches it allows Wonderboy to be able to move and um, again with 22 seconds in Gilbert has to do a lot of movement to be able to finish a fight if he was trying to stall he wouldn't be trying to throw no punches he would just try to hold um, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson down for the main of the round because in the fact he already had the takedown and so here's a beautiful takedown here basic jiu-jitsu um, Wonderboy makes a mistake and allows uh, Gilbert to get too close to him and uh, Gilbert um, lifts those hands up and he goes right in for the takedown um, that high guard is what set that up here you can see Gilbert steps over goes for the body lock takedown now check this out this is a legit takedown you'll see it used more often by Jiu Jitsu practitioner than anyone else where they scoop that leg and they go for a takedown here uh, Damien goes for it he doesn't get it but it sets up the back take Gilbert is going to move this over Wonderboy defends it and allows him to get the body lock takedown that was the combination that was used Wonderboy Thompson ends up into this um, side control and um, it's interesting because of his height he can use that hand to go over Gilbert's head and control Gilbert a little bit more now Gilbert because he used that body lock he ended up in a double unders and that's not what he want he also has uh, Wonderboy Thompson threatened in this this escape so he has to move very slowly because he'll lose all this hard work he'll lose the position he literally has to move in inches as you see there um, again he wants the head and arm control but he can't get the head and arm control because Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is resisting it so he throws the punches it sets up for Wonderboy Thompson to um, to get his back against the cage here he tried to use his knee to separate Thompson's hand so he can ground and pound Thompson bridges into that direction and allows him to get to his feet again you can see he's clearly trying to finish the fight he can't finish the fight because Wonderboy Thompson's defense is pretty good he takes these punches here sets up the guillotine because Wonderboy drops his head he goes for the guillotine but he can't grasp his hand because of the MMA size gloves and that allows him to go back to the mat and then Gilbert goes ham and finish the fight so in other words Gilbert was actually doing everything he possibly can to finish the fight it's just that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson was a good fighter and we got to give respect to where it's due to say that Gilbert was born and dry humping is to say that Wonderboy Thompson wasn't doing anything right and you should be equally excited that that Gilbert won because if Wonderboy would have fought against Kamar Usman he would have been taken down for five rounds possibly and it would have probably on according to your standard been a boring fight anyway it goes um, it's a very skilled fight a lot of details you know I tried to go as fast as I could and get that information to you there's some other stuff in there that I wanted to share with you I couldn't um, just basically on time and trying to get hit with no, no more copyright infringements yo this is d Rod's MMA Boxing if you like the video hit the like button leave a comment share the video and don't forget to subscribe for more um, objective analysis peace